What's up, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick. In the Atlanta Braves versus Milwaukee Brewers. Major League Baseball matchup going down Saturday, July 29th, 2023. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Smash that thumbs up. It helps us out a ton. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games I love the most, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one between the Atlanta Braves and the Milwaukee Brewers. The Atlanta Braves sending out Bryce Elder to the mound in this one, while the Milwaukee Bre- uh, Brewers will counter with Julio Tehran. And uh, the thing about Julio Tehran is that this is a guy that I, I was kind of, I don't want to say I was writing him off, um, but I, I didn't think he was going to have a great start against the Atlanta Braves. He had really started to regress after such a hot start to the year. Prior to his last start against the Braves, he had given up 17 runs over a span of 16 and a third innings of work. It just really was not a good look for Julio Tehran in the in those games. Well, what does he do? Last time out against the same Atlanta Braves lineup at home, gives up one run over six innings of work, gave up just three hits with five strikeouts in that game. Now on the other side, Bryce Elder was opposite Tehran in that outing, like he is here, and he gave up two runs on six, uh, excuse me, on four hits over six innings of work, two strikeouts and two walks. But it was a game where neither starting pitcher affected into the decision. Came down to the bullpens late, and it was a game that the Atlanta Braves ended up winning 4-2. to two. Well, I think we're going to have something similar going on here. You know, Julio Tehran, you know, a, uh, a pitcher that, like I said, has had his fair share of issues as of late and does have a 5.16 ERA on the road. But I think it's a bit inflated. It's only been over 22 and two-thirds innings. It's given up 14 runs. And uh, I think the majority of his outings, well, if you take out those starts against the Phillies and the Mets where he gave up 10, excuse me, 11 runs over almost 11 innings of work, he'd probably be doing a little bit better than he is in that spot. And Bryce Elder on the other side, well, Elder's been one of the more consistent arms the Braves have had this season. He went through a rough patch as well. But like I said, he seemed to have rectified the issue last time out. I think this could easily be, you know, a, you know, first to five wins kind of game, maybe a 5-4 kind of game. But if that's the case, I still think we're flying under this total of 9.5. I'm also looking at the Brewers. Plus the one and a half as well. I just don't know if Bryce Elder should still be a minus 210 favorite. And the Braves haven't been playing like the same team that probably would have justified this kind of price prior to the All-Star break. So give me the under nine and a half with the Brewers plus the one and a half as well as the side pick. And that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Smash that thumbs up. It helps us out a ton. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.